Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Ninja Player and I would like to discuss how we map flipbooks on particle arrays. Because when we are mapping flipbooks on meshes it pretty much depends on the UV coordinates of the given mesh. Now how do we do the same thing with a particle array? Well, for this I would like to guide you to use cases level 6 and here you could find this group called emitter types and we have two emitter types one is this static mesh surface emitter and the other one is grid 2D and static mesh surface emitter comes like an easy case let's say we have a flipbook and we are mapping this flipbook on a planar geometry and this planar geometry has a defined UV and so that's how we are mapping these texture information on the mesh surface and we could do the same thing with any mesh arbitrary mesh in this case this is like a curved surface like a half cylinder but still it has its own UV and this static mesh surface emitter is utilizing the mesh UV to map the particles with the flipbook data. Let me open up this emitter and have a look at the stack, the module stack. As you could see we have this Ninja Flipbook player and if I click on the Ninja Flipbook player uh, you could see that in the UV parameter field we are accessing this UV information provided by the static mesh sample static mesh and the static mesh location modules so basically we have these standard Unreal Niagara modules here which are placing particles on the surface of the static mesh and in the same time it is grabbing the UV space of the static mesh and it is uh, uh, basically letting us access this UV data and the flickbook player is just simply accessing this UV space and that's how we are mapping particles with the texture, with the flipbook texture. It looks like a very simple case and it is. On the other hand, we have this grid 2D thing and most of the emitters on the tutorial levels are this kind and it works uh, quite different because in this case we do not have an underlying mesh but we are generating this uh, grid of particles using the spawn particles in grid module and this module is not providing us with any UV information so we have to generate it for ourselves we have the Ninja Flipbook player, the same module as in the previous emitter. But in this case, if you have a look at the UV input, it's not like linking an existing channel, but we have to literally make the UV space for ourselves. Have a look at this field. This is the key to understand what we are doing. Basically, uh, we are uh, array arranging particles in a grid and suppose our grid is a one by one grid so particles on the top left corner are coming with the zero coordinate and the bottom right is one one well we could match this to a uv space one by one and all other things are just scaling what if our particle grid is not one by one but it's like 500 by 500 then we have to divide it by 500 so uh, in the end depending on the spawn particle parameters we have to do some kind of multiplication or division or subtraction but we are using particle position generally uh, the grid position of the particles to pick up the UV coordinates and then to align a texture to these coordinates so that's a major difference uh, repeating The static mesh surface emitter is a very simple case and it's just uh, 
getting the UV space of that mesh where we are aligning the particles and the grid 2D is where you really have to generate your own UV basically uh, using the particle position shortly that's what I wanted to tell you about you might find it useful when creating your own emitters and particle systems and thank you for your patience and see you next time